guys, it's your girl Coco Styles, and on this channel we talk about beauty, fashion, and lifestyle. But in today's video, I'm going to show you guys some jeans that I purchased and some jeans that I already have that I pretty much have never worn. Um, but I think these are the perfect jeans for tall women. I am six feet, and all of these are Levi's, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. They're all Levi's, and um, the reason why I started gearing towards Levi was because I used to buy PZI jeans. I'm not sure if you guys know what PZI is, but the brand, I think it was based in Atlanta. Um, they ended up closing, but it was for women of, with smaller waists and bigger bums. I don't have a big bum, but um, it was they, they came really, really long. So when they kind of got rid of the business, I was a little stuck when it came to jeans, so I decided to go back to the old school Levi's, and these are some of the ones that I have. Um, actually, I have on a pair now, and these are, I believe, the 725 uh, boot cut, and these are a 30, 34. Um, here's the thing. I like these pants. <clears throat> I like them. My only issue with them is that the boot cut area it keeps twisting. So I almost feel like it's defected some way, somehow. Um, but they fit really good here. I'm probably gonna take off my belt. So these are a 30 and they come all the way down. I have on ankle socks right now. So um, they come all the way down and they're not bad, but they keep twisting at the bottom. So it's making me not like them. I don't know if because they're kind of soft. They have a lot of stretch. Um, and I'm not sure if that's why they're twisting at the bottom, <laughs> but it starts to twist from here. I don't know, but I had these for some time. So I've washed these a few times. Um, another black pair that I did get from Levi, I took it to the cleaners and I don't know what they did, but they're like super ashy now. So I've been washing them and I've been getting much better results. So they still are really, really dark and no issues um but this is the first pair so again I'm, I'm gonna link everything below for you guys all the sizes all the um the lengths um and which style of jeans so this is 725 and these are boot cut and I also have which I don't necessarily have to try on because it's the same one but in blue so yes and they're high rise so the black ones that I have on are exactly like these blue ones here. They're 725 high rise boot cut and they're slim through the hip. And this is a 10 long. And then it also says 30, 34. So, I mean, this is the blue pair. And I bought these a while ago too, I actually. I haven't gotten away because I kind of figured out they would be like these. Uh, but the rest of them I am gonna try them because they are from different um, style of pants. And actually, I have two here from The Gap. I forgot. Um, all right, so I'm gonna try the next one on, and then, and then um, be right back, guys. I also have another black pair here that I'm gonna put on, and these are a different um, style. Um, so these are 721 High Rise Skinny, same 30, but I got a 32. And the reason why I got a 32, and I believe two of these, is because my 3034s that I have that are similar, they're so long, so I have to kind of like cuff them in when I have on pumps and stuff. So I just thought this go a little bit shorter, and it'll be less um, cuffing in. You know how you cuff kids' pants on the inside? That's what I had to do. <laughs> so I'll be back with the next pair of pants. And I think what I'm gonna do is, I'm just gonna go with all the Levi's first and then get to the Gap jeans after. So I'll be right back, guys. Welcome back, guys. All right, so this is the second pair. And again, these are a 30, uh, 32 inseam. And these are 30 width. So it says it's size 10 long. Um, and these are 721 high rise skinny. So that's the first one was 725 boot cut. Um, 3034 and this is the 721 high rise skinny 3032. 
Now, I don't know if you guys can see, but these hit right at the ankle. And I actually like these a little bit better than, I have another pair like this, but they're 34. But again, like I said, I have to tuck them in because they slouch a lot at the bottom. So this is my first time getting something like this. They high rise. They're not super high rise. Um, but they, my navel is here, but they do come up in, yeah, 32. Um, let me know what you guys think about these. I like these a lot. And I'll get the next ones on for you guys, but this is like a, what kind of wash is this? Like a light, light denim wash. I like these a lot. I do. I don't have no tushy, but um, you know, they stretch a lot, stretch a lot. There's not much space back here, which is great. Um, Cause I'll show you the gap jeans. And I don't have a booty, so <laughs> this is what you're gonna get. <laughs> but like I said, this is the second pair and I'll get the next one on. And yes, the next ones I'll get on will be 7-Eleven skinny. And these are mid-rise and they are a 30-34. These are a little bit different. They have like a little bit of distress in them. And then um, I'll get the final pair on, which is the other black pair. All right, so again, this is 721 high rise. I'm gonna link everything below for you guys. First pair, which is the black that I had on and then so forth and so on. So I'll be right back guys. Welcome back guys. Okay, so here's the third pair. Now, these are kind of old. I had them, I still had the tags on them. So I just thought that I would show you guys because the style number is different. But I do not like a lot of distress in my pants because one, you see my little fat protruding out of here. My knees are protruding out of here. And these are very soft. And I'm not a big girl by all means. Um, not like super thick or anything like that. So, I'm sorry, let's take these off because these are kind of loud. Um, so, this is coming out. And these are not high rise. So they are under, they're right at the hip area. My navel is here. I would prefer my pants to come up higher than this. And the bottom has like a little bit of distress. Um, these are 34, 34, and these are 711 skinny Levi Sculpt. Um, they're very, and actually says soft on the back because they feel really soft. Um, but again, too much distressing for me. But if you like pants like this, then I would recommend them because they are extremely soft and they stretch really well. Um, but not so much for me. So I'll probably give these away. Um, but yeah, let me know what you guys think about these. Um, I have a little bit of space back here, not a lot. Um, and they're, they're still pretty long. I wish they had these with no distress because I like the bottom of it. I like the bottom cut off like that. Um, but yeah, that's it. It's a 7 to 7 11, 30, 34, um, long, and leave, it says Levi's Sculpt. So, for those of you who like distressed pants like this, but I know. <laughs> so, yeah, so I'll be right back with the, the last pair from Levi which are another black pair, but a different style number again. And it's good that I'm showing you guys these different style numbers because I did not know Levi had this many. Um, and I think it's really good. So I'll be right back with the next one and in a second. Welcome back guys. All right, so I was actually not going to put these on, but I realized that it just felt a little bit softer because this is actually the same as the second pair that I tried, the same style as the second pair, um, but in black. Uh, what I do notice is that they feel a lot softer. So a lot easier to go on. Same thing in the back, no spacing, no gapping. 
Um, these are high rise, so my navel is here, so it comes up higher than my hips. Um, 3032, you see where it's hitting directly right there. The 34, like I said, I have to cut them in. Um, and it was something else that I wanted to say about these. See, it says hyper soft. Which, yeah, these are really soft. Not overly soft, like some of the pants, like, and some of like, hmm, cheaper brands, um, but they're soft enough. And what I noticed also, too, the tag in the back is actually black, so you don't have to have a red tag hanging off of your black pants. Which is weird because the other ones, I believe, they had a red tag. I think I took it off. But let me know what you guys think about these. And they're very, very affordable, which is so great because I kind of feel like jeans are, nowadays, are just too expensive. And they just, I don't know. People are spending three, dollars 400 on jeans. I don't see why. Um, when you can just get a nice, simple pair for like $70. Maybe even cheaper than that, honestly. Um... And that's it. So, again, this is 721 high rise, but in black. And this is a 3032. And same as the second pair that I showed you guys earlier. So, now I'm going to get on the two uh, gap ones and go from there. And the gap ones, uh, these pair, let's see. These are a, these are considered cigarette high-rise pants. And this is a 31, which is a 12 regular. Um, now, the only reason why I got these is because I actually like the way they fit me. But it's a little space in the back, so I'm gonna get them taken in because they didn't have a 30. Um, but it's not that bad. And this is a 31. And then the other pair, the lady actually brought them to me in the back. They are a, Hole. I was a little nervous because it didn't feel like it had any stretch to it, but it does. And these are a 30 straight sky high comfort stretch. Yeah. And it says 30 and it says 10 tall denim. And these are more, I was trying to find like mom jeans or boyfriend jeans or dad, whatever they're called. I don't know if it's because I'm tall. They just don't fit me like they fit a lot of the other young ladies. Don't know. They're never really baggy, but these are pretty decent. So I'll get these on first and show you guys how these look. And then I'll get on the cigarette ones last. And let you guys be the judge of the jeans that I usually wear. All right, guys, so I'll, I'll be right back. Welcome back, guys. All right, so these are the Gap pants, and these are a 30, and then it says a 10 tall. And, oh my God, I'm so sorry. I forgot to get the name. Oh, I said a straight, skinny, straight, straight leg. Um, something like that, sky, straight leg. I'll, I'll put it down below. But these, I like these. These come up a lot more. My navel is right here. Um, and they're rather long. Now, I haven't bought in Gap jeans in forever. So for them to be, I hope you guys can see it. For them to be this long, I'm kind of surprised. It has one little distress on the knee. See, I'm okay with this. But those other ones, no. Um, and I have a lot of room at the bottom. So actually, let me show you the back. For the back, I have just a little bit of spacing back here. Not a lot. Um, they do feel more denim than the other one, but there is still a slight bit of stretch. Um, I needed a little bit of stretch. Even though I'm not the biggest here, I needed something to pull them up my leg. Um, and like I said, not, not a lot of root, um, space in the back. Now, it does feel like it's making my tushy look a little flatter, but it is what it is. <laughs> um, so yeah, let me know what you guys think about this. If I, I can roll them up, uh -oh. I can roll them up a little bit more so you guys can see. So I have it 
cuffed once, twice. The, the little small hem and then one more time. And if I want it, I can roll them up some more, wear some shoes with this, blaze up some sneakers, maybe some Chuck Taylors maybe. A little blaze up, you wanna keep it chill. But I think these are pretty cute. Um, I don't know, I like the light wash better than dark wash these days. Um, but let me know what you guys think. I will link this below also for you guys to take a look at. And I am six feet, remember, so this these, these have a lot of room for you to kind of play around with the bottom of your pants if you decided to. So I'll get the last pair on, which is the cigarette pants, and then we're done for today's video. So I'll be right back. Welcome back, guys. All right, so this is the last pair of pants. Now, these are cigarette pants. They're not full-length jeans. So, I'll be honest with you, I'm not sure where they're supposed to come up to on an average height person, but I like them. Um, it has like a little distress in the back of it. So the hem doesn't go all the way around, which I thought was pretty cute. One little distress hole, so my little fat is not coming out of it. And these are high waist. These are a 31. Are these a 31? Yes. So these have a little bit of space back here. But I actually like it because I have like space. So I don't want them super tight. Um, and they come above my navel. So these are high rise also. Honestly, guys, I'm for the high rise. I have a little bulge. So anything under that and if it's pushing in then i have a muffin top so i try to avoid that at all costs but let me know what you guys think about these i think these are pretty cute what do you guys think <laughs> all right guys so that's it for today these are my new favorite jeans well not all new but uh jeans from the gap and levi that i think that any tall person could wear and not have them flooding over at the bottom so if you like videos like this guys please comment below and don't forget to hit that like and comment and subscribe for me so I can do more videos and also hit that notification bell I do post videos Tuesdays I'm sorry Wednesdays and Sundays and I've tried to do at least one fashion video if not two but 99% of the times I'm at least gonna put out one fashion video for you guys so if you stay to the end of this video, please comment, Coco, we see you, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.